Hi lovely ones, it's Ethany and I have got the Witch's Moon box for April. It arrived, so I am going to be going through this lovely treasure trove of goodies. I do not know what's in here yet. I do, as always, try to avoid the social medias for spoilers. So I'm going to be switching over cameras and we're going to be exploring the Witch's Moon subscription box for April 2019. Okay, so now we're going to go through the Witch's Moon for April and see what is inside this gorgeous box of witchy goodness. Every month it's like Christmas. <laughs> Every single month. Okay, so let's have a look at our card. I love looking at the card. This month we have a creation. Remember your thoughts, shape your future, your words create today, your choices become your reality. Gorgeous. I have this deck. This is from uh, Kim Wilder, I believe. I'm pulling that one off the top of my head, by the way. Uh... Oh, this is from, mm, that's not Josephine Wall. It says, okay, I'm going to just keep going through that. I'm sure that's um, not Josephine Wall. That might be uh, the woman who's done the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. In the back of that, I have this deck. I do have this deck. But uh, what I love about this is I've been getting ready for Reader Studio in New York. So I leave in a few days to go to New York for my second reader studio. And I'm speaking this year, I'm one of the presenters and I have been really sitting with the idea of creation, um, intention, and I can't say what I'm going to be presenting at reader studio, but it fits so unbelievably perfectly. Again, um, yes. So wise, we have a wise guidance incantation. We have the Lover's Moon, May, Espat and Full Moon correspondences. So this is, we're looking, oh, I'm going to just, <laughs> petals, um, well flowers. This is uh, May Day, um, this is Beltane, when we are starting to see the, um, the Espat and Full Moon is different, that's the moon energy. And then we have the Sabbat, which is going to be Beltane, which is around the lovers. So this is really good timing. Uh, so that's moon energies. Then we have fluorite. So, oh, that artwork. A. Alden does the most stunning artwork for the witch's moon. I'm so glad I've got all these beautiful pieces of artwork to go into. Although I'm going to have to like try and hunt down the ones that I don't have. Uh, and this, I love purple. Purple is my favorite color. Um, hunt down the ones that I don't have to like complete my, um, my book of shadows from, from the subscription. I wonder what's in here. Pythia, Jasmine tea. Ooh, I love Jasmine. Jasmine is one of my absolute favorite flowers and favorite smells, and I love Jasmine tea. So we have this, and then we have a tea infusion bag as well. If you don't have infusers, I've got a number of infusers, but it's great that you get um, the infuser bag. Another great thing about the Witch's Moon boxes is they give you everything that you need. So um, they're not gonna leave it out so that something inside the box is you can't use. They make sure that they give you everything. So we have this beautiful purple silky bag. And what have we got in here? Just unwrapping it <laughs> while you're staring at this beautiful purple box. Come out, come out. So 
So it's been wrapped very, very, very well. It was wrapped in um, bubble wrap and then wrapped in paper. And we have this gorgeous fluorite wand. So the fluorite and prenite um, are definitely working very, very well together with the two boxes this month. We have Aroma Rose Rope Incense. Another beautiful silk bag. Oh, gorgeous. Let me have this beautiful, look at the size of that desert rose. <gasps> so pretty. So we have a gorgeous desert rose. Now this is a type of stone um, that you do not leave in salt water. This will, this will just dissolve. Uh, it's very, very porous. You can even see it um, on my camera here, how porous this is. But look how stunning that is. So you have a gorgeous desert rose stone. We have Beltane, so that's for next month, our Sabbath in May. This is 1st of May. Look at that, I can see well, we got Epsom, so we got salts in there that looks like there's some rosemary and calendula or chamomile. I might might take that with me to New York to have it soak in a tub there. Okay. Do 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 do. Then we have our oil for this month. Bliss oil. This is our anointing oil. Give that a sniff. Oh, that's lovely. That's definitely going to have jasmine in it. I'm going to go through. I mean, I can see the jasmine. I think if I'm wrong, I don't think I am though. But I'm pretty sure there's jasmine in there. But I'm going to check. It smells gorgeous. We have conifer, box. We have, oh, look at this. This is where all those beautiful lavender, oh, look at that, look like little fairies. Okay, I'm obsessed with purple. Anyone who knows me, I'm not like, What's her name from Breaking Bad? Obsessed with purple, but I'm pretty obsessed with purple. My ultra color is purple. My yoga mat is purple. The ball that I sit on for my back is purple. Nearly everything, I, just purple. I love purple. It's gorgeous. You know, they look like you know, the unicorn or fairy candles. I love. Another thing about Beltane um, and about that Sabbath is it's deeply connected to the Fae. Um, to like, you know, uh, the worlds of nature spirits. So anytime I think of Beltane, I think of the gorgeous nature spirits and the fairies, the fae. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, we get an oracle deck. So that's why I was like, that's not Josephine. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So, um, we get the Mystical Wisdom card deck. <gasps> Lovely. Yes, this is the one, and it came in this gorgeous satin pouch. Oh, how lovely. So, this is very much connected to nature spirits, um, to working with the Fae. This is Spirit Wisdom, this box is called. So, uh, da, da, da. the tools included in this connection can provide a powerful foundation for to connect with the spirits that are eager to assess you on your path. So, we have the Mystical Wisdom <laughs> Oracle, Doys. This is the one where I was like, that's not the right one, but it's what we're talking about here. A double terminated fluorite. I'm just going to go back through while having a look at it. It feels stunning. Um, fluoride is a stone of enlightenment and intellect, harmonizing the conscious mind with our inherent spirit. 
It cleanses, purifies and reorganizes energetic imbalances, whether physical, mental, emotional or spiritual. Fluorite heightens intuitive powers, enhancing awareness of higher spiritual vibrations. Gorgeous. And it's actually, and it says in here too, it's really helpful when you're learning a new system of divination. Beautiful. Then we have the artwork. And then we have the Wise Guidance Twin Spell Candles with Dried Flowers. We have, which is these beautiful, um, these ones down here. We've hand rolled and charged these candles for the purpose of harnessing your intentions toward growth and fruition as you ask for truth and wisdom during your rituals and meditation. Then we have that beautiful bliss anointing oil. Now I want to see if I was right about what I could smell in there. Oh, I was wrong. Well, there you go. Don't take, a, don't take someone's word for it who's been sick for eight weeks. <laughs> My smell is clearly off. It does have beautiful, um, I'm not going to give the recipe away, but it does have um, ginger root. I love that. Then we have Beltane Celebration Salt, which is our Sabbath coming up. Ooh, ooh, beginning of summer. Um, this one has got uh, Hazel, Primrose, Rowan and Hawthorne. Um, then we have this Selenite Desert Rose. It has the affirmation of, I walk the path of strength and truth so that I may transition into my truest self. Uh, it says that each selenite desert rose holds within it the energy of a spirit guardian. Uh, as you sit with this stone and use it during your sessions, allow yourself to be nudged to the most natural and healing path, for it is there where you will find growth. Then we have the jasmine tea, uh, we have ginger, seven barks, and their oracle readings. This was Magical Times. I knew this was coming from this. Magical Times by Jodie Bergmer. I was right. Uh, so we have this one because I, I love those backs. With that creation, the parchment paper, and the Lover's Moon, May Espat, and Full Moon by A. Alden. Another gorgeous, gorgeous collection. Uh, and I've mentioned a number of times with, with all of my unboxings of the witch's moon it's a great way to build your magical apothecary your cabinet of magical um, craft workings and build your information month by month learning new things about the craft so as always i will pop a link to where you can go and find the witch's moon in the description i'm really looking forward to opening these gorgeous uh, cards Tonight is actually one of those, I know you might think I'm a bit of a dork, but it's a Saturday night. Um, my son is with his dad, so I have a night to myself, so I might actually just get out all my cards, it was a full moon a couple of nights ago, and just play with them. So that will come and play with my cards tonight if I get some time to do that. So as always, thank you so very much for watching this video. Um, it means a lot to me. And go over and show the witch's moon some love.